world, and she taught me pretty much, I don't know, I learned a lot of information, the ins and outs of event planning. And I learned that there's so much hard work in behind like, events even like this that you have to put in a lot of thought and a lot of detail. And then we got to plan this event together and put it all together for you all. And I was really happy to work with Megan. So I had the pleasure of working with Maisie and getting to know her over a few different events. Maisie came and was part of our Christmas in Town as well in December and helped in the planning and setup of that event as well as this one today. And I've just grown, got to know what a lovely young lady you are and how caring and how you have such a great attention to detail and just eye for an event overall as well in the final picture. It's been a pleasure getting to know you and being a part of the Martha's Vineyard Youth Leadership. This really does great things and opportunities for the community. Today I visited um, Jennifer Neary's office where she runs her program, Connect to End Violence. And I also met her um, co-worker, who's another counselor um, named Heather Arpin. And today was truly inspiring for me because I know in my future I want to help my community and help people as much as I can. And to see what this program and you guys have been doing is just, it's amazing. Um, how you help people and they um, showed me how they deal with clients and the different um, situations they're put in and how they have to deal with them and stay um, sane and true to themselves in a way. And, uh, yeah, so it was it was an amazing day. Um, I think we were a perfect match. Um, it was really great. So thank you so much. <laughs> it was such a pleasure to have you today, and um, I wish we had more time. <laughs> but um, one of the things that um, we spoke a lot about was how, regardless of what's going on with everyday life, with work, with anything, it's about self care and promoting, checking with ourselves and taking care of ourselves. So I wish that for your future, whatever you go into, you'll do some great things for a lot of people. And just to take care of yourself. Okay. I have to spend an afternoon with Dr. Stucco, and she's a family pediatrician at the Martha's Vineyard Regional Hospital. And I got to spend a few hours with her, and I got to see her take care of her patients. And it was really a great experience because she she's a great doctor and she has such love and care for each of her patients. And I want to be a doctor, so I really enjoyed it. Um, I studied at the local lobster hatchery, where I learned about the local shellfish population. I'm interested in studying, majoring in the environment, specifically environmental engineering. And um, overall, it was a great experience. I got to learn about the environment, and it was an enlightening experience. So. You hereby <laughs> note to all that the Massachusetts House of Representatives offers, offers its sincerest congratulations to Becca Eldiri in recognition of your receipt of the 2015 Pat Gregory Award and for your commitment to making Martha's Vineyard a better place for future generations. The entire membership extends its very best wishes and expresses the hope for future good fortune and continued successes in all endeavors. Given this 30th day of January 2015, signed by Robert Delio, Speaker of the House, and Representative Timothy Madden. And thank you for being such a giving community and supporting our youth. Thanks. I was inspired to hear the stories about the mentors and the kids and interested to hear what they learned from spending a day with someone in a profession and I think it's a valuable thing for kids to have the opportunity to go into a different profession and see what the day is like, what the job is like, what the education requirements were. Um, I hope that as time goes by that this program gets bigger and bigger and it, it more kids will, will join and have the opportunity to partake in a mentorship. That's something that you can enjoy doing and to take or and help other people
I'm Megan Penny, Special Events Manager at the Harborview Hotel. This experience was great because it gave us the opportunity to get to know Macy and to share day-to-day uh, -day what life is like at the Harborview and events. Um, I really like learned a lot about like what she did on like an average day. It wasn't like we sat down and she like talked to me because that would have been kind of boring. But instead, I got to like see actually like what they did, which was like more entertaining and like actually like gave me a taste of what it was like to like do her job. It was nice that Christine could be here today because we are about to go to press with our national wedding magazine and we were putting together uh, photo shoots and collecting advertising and proofing actual pages from the magazine and working with the designer by phone and email on some of the changes that when the magazine comes out she can see and she was there to see what we were doing. Mm -hmm. yeah, so today Lucy spoke with one of the counselors at Connect and myself about what a typical day is like at Connect, um, what surprises and things that can happen due to the nature of our work and um, some of the challenges and the positive things about the community that we live in um, for victims and survivors of domestic and sexual violence. Yeah, there's not a whole lot to tell a young man like Elijah because he's got it naturally. I mean, he's very organically driven because he is himself. So the only tip that I could really give him is to be himself, but to differentiate himself as he grows in uh, his academic uh, capacity, but also you know as he looks into what he wants to do for a career. Hi, I'm Kelsey Marie, and I'm Grace Burton. I recently moved back from Rwanda where I was working with women's co op and with local designers and local models to help produce their fashion lines. I'm doing everything from producing lookbooks to building business plans. So I learned that it's like it can be stressful, but at the end, it's like worth it. And like if it's what you love, you should go for it no matter what. And I'm really looking forward to it. We uh, take care of patients from newborn. My, my youngest patients today are 14 hours old. They're upstairs in the, in the newborn nursery. Uh, to, we just finished with an 88-year-old woman. Um, so I took care of people for all different complaints, different ages, uh, different situations. Tried to listen to them and uh, figure out what they needed from me, what I could help with. Um, and if I couldn't help with it, where I could get them to to get the help that they need. Okay, so the first question is, why was this experience great? Uh, this experience was great because I got to expose a um, interested student uh, to what a fairly typical afternoon in a family practice uh, physician's life uh, is like. and. Whenever um, you kind of you know expose somebody to something and are able to see it through their eyes, you certainly always learn, and um, you know it definitely is an eye-opening experience. I think for both both parties. Okay, so this experience was really great for me because. I got to spend a lovely afternoon with her, and um, I got to see the care she has for each patient. It, and it was like really eye-opening, and it made me like to be even more confident that it is what I want to do. And so I'm really grateful for it.